this video we're going to talk about why we always choose cruiser motorcycles over any other type of motorcycle. your bike this way because you've got reverse. I don't have reverse. Oh my god. Absolute cretin. Designed by an infant child. Uh, and that is why you need a reverse on a motorcycle because this bike weighs 300 kilograms, just under, 297 I think it is. And it's completely and utterly hopeless if you're on your own trying to get it up a slight slope. It's not even that steep um, unless you um, are the strongest man in the world, it is quite difficult, um, which the BMW has. So if you're watching this Harley Davidson, put reverse on your bikes. But in this video, we're going to talk about why we love cruiser motorcycles so much and why we always love coming back to them after riding all these other types of bikes and we still love them the most. Um, so let's go into why that is. Now when you're riding a cruiser motorcycle, whether it be a Harley Davidson or a BMW R18, it's not just going for a ride, it's like having an event. Um, it's, a, it's an occasion when you ride it and you can feel this monstrous engine below your um, gentleman's parts and it is very, very uh, exciting. And um, whenever you twist the throttle, there's so much torque on tap, so overtaking is not a problem. It's sat on the motorway, you're doing motorway speeds and you want to get past someone, you don't even need to downshift, it just pulls. Um, and that is the lovely thing about cruisers, is the effortlessness torque, which is just <laughs> unbelievable compared to any other type of bike. You'd have to rev the absolute, um, pardon my French, nuts off of it. It just goes. Um, so that's what we love about them. Now, as Darcy said, it's that lovely low down torque you get uh, that really appeals, aside from the looks and the style and all that, and the handling and the geometry, that, you know, my bike produces 150 Newton meters at 2000 RPM, and that's a monstrous amount of torque, and this is pretty close too. Um, whereas a sort of high powered sports bike's not even half of that torque at 2000 RPM. Um, so that's what I love about it. You say you can overtake easily, you can pull up hills easily, uh, it makes for a very relaxed ride. You don't need to rev it, so you, short shifting is a good thing. A lot of people that ride sports bikes say you've got to short shift it and that's a bad thing. No, that's what we love about them. Um, so yeah, these big torquey engines are wonderful and you, you can't really um, comment, or you can comment, but you can't really appreciate it until you've ridden one and then you'll know what we're talking about. So go to your dealer and have a test ride. <laughs> Where you been? Hey, Bean. Ah, if I may. Uh, another thing we love about cruiser motorcycles is the way they look. Um, I'm not a fan of modern looking bikes with pointy plastic rubbish all over them and horrible massive screens that um, you can probably go on Facebook on. You don't need that on a bike. Um, you need the basics, tell you what you need to know, your miles per hour, the speedo, um, and what gear you're in. That's all you really need to know and how much petrol you've got, which that doesn't tell you, which is a big problem to me, but he doesn't care. Um, but they're just so big, they're long, which is great for taller riders. So if you're above six foot, they're just so comfortable and there's no need for forward controls. I think personally that gives you less control and then your legs are all the way out there and I don't like that. Now, with both of these bikes, 
one of the things that I love is the pure art of them. The black and the chrome, the view from the handlebars looking forward is just beautiful. You have a beautiful artistic clock in the middle, lovely chrome, everything is wonderful on it. And it's the same with the Harley, it is just art. So your view of the road ahead is with the bike in it is just amazing and standing back looking at the bikes as well they are just so beautiful and like Darcy said you get none of that pointy plastic stuff and all these uh, gadgetry things mine has modes I've got three modes but they're uh, not obtrusive in any way whatsoever I've just seen a rat yeah I have to get that um, so basically you press the button rock and roll and rain three modes and on this bike they work really well um, on Darcy's your mode is your throttle hand and that's great. So these are sort of very much back to basics bikes like they used to be in the past and it's a pure riding experience rather than having basically riding a, a computerized gadget and um, I think a lot of cruiser riders would agree with that that you you're riding a beautiful machine and um, you know it's got the, enough technology without being uh, obtrusive and, and spoiling the experience of the ride. Uh, this is the first time we've had these bikes together face to face and they look very well together actually. I think they complement each other very nicely. Um, let us know what you think in the comments, um, but I think they look like quite a good pair. Um, and another thing you notice is obviously with a cruiser motorcycle you've got quite a, um, a shallow, shallow? Is that the word? Not so steep. Not so steep. Rake. Um, so these are 32 degrees, this is 30 um, and that gives you a much more stable ride at a higher speed um, and it means that when you go into a corner it's kind of a smooth manoeuvre um, whereas some bikes with a steep rake are very twitchy and they go into the corner like that whereas this is very kind of you lean into the corner and it goes around nice and smoothly um, and surprisingly they are very nice to ride on um, you know cornery roads they are actually very enjoyable um, as some people would think they wouldn't be but it's kind of the fun of wrestling this heavy beast into a corner it is quite enjoyable um, so if you haven't ridden one definitely go out and ride one you'll see what I mean <laughs> Another thing is both these bikes and most cruisers they're manual you've got a clutch you've got the gear lever and you're doing it you're blipping the throttle on the downshift you're changing gear you're getting the timing right and all that gives you the most I don't like that I mean when when I first rode a bike with a quick shifter I did think wow this is good but that's for 10 minutes and then you think well I'm not doing it it's changing gear for you you're just doing that and that becomes boring after a while and doing it yourself is part of the experience of riding a motorcycle and cruisers give you that in bucket loads. Another thing that is a big point, and this is what I've always loved about Harleys specifically, is the sound that they make, the deep rumble of the V-twin engine. Uh, this parallel twin that's in the BMW sounds fantastic as well. Um, it's kind of a completely different sound. It's a bit like a Spitfire going past. Awesome sounding bike. Um, this has got stock exhaust, which I agree looks very good and it looks very nice and classic, but it's not very loud. Um, I would definitely want something louder. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Should the old man change his exhaust or take the baffles out, something like that to make it um, have a bit more of a rumble. I've got Vance and Hines slip-ons on mine, twin slash slip-ons, and they sound perfect. Give you that good old Harley sound, and they're not overly loud. They've just got that nice deep Harley tone, which is what I love. Now, a little while back, we reviewed the Honda Rebel 1100. And in that video, I said it is a proper cruiser, and it is. Um, we had the DCT version, which is the automatic uh, gear change thing. Um, and one of the comments, or it may have been another video review I watched, I can't remember, said that 
having a DCT automatic is just what you need on a cruiser uh, because you want to be laid back and let the bike do it for you. Well, that is exactly the opposite of what we buy a cruiser for. We want to do it. We want to change gear, blip the throttle, do all that ourselves. So that is not true. So we really do love the cruisers because you're manually involved as part of the bike, but part of this huge, big beast of a machine. And that is what is really enjoyable about riding a cruiser. Now, a lot of people commented on the Honda Rebel review about the looks of the Honda and that they didn't like it uh, and said, you know, it's not like a Harley, you've got the lovely classic looks of a Harley uh, on a cruiser or even the BMW. Um, but now uh, Harley have got a couple of bikes that compete uh, directly with the Honda Rebel on looks and that's the uh, Sports Dress and Nightster, both of which are sort of perhaps not the most beautiful classic looking of Harleys. So, um, if you're looking for that sort of style of bike, now you've got the Honda Rebel and two of the Harleys to go for. We wanted to review the sports dress and you know, we were waiting for Harley Davidson to send us a bike. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't managed to um, get us that one yet or the Nightster. Um, we were down for a, a low rider S or we are down for one, um, but a lot of manufacturers promise us bikes when we say in the video, right, coming soon is this and this and this and this. Uh, there's four or five different bikes that we've been promised from different manufacturers uh, and we're chasing them up, chasing them up and they haven't got back to us yet. So hopefully they'll come uh, in line fairly soon. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, amazing. Um, so yeah, another thing with cruisers, they've got long wheelbases, that one's slightly longer than this, um, but for someone who's tall, they are just perfect um, and you're nice and stretched out. You do see a lot of shorter people riding these bikes. I know someone who bought one of these who's shorter than me um, and they brought the bars back, um, which obviously you can do, which will enable you to ride it if you're shorter, but it does look better having the bars in line with the forks. That kind of gives the aesthetic of the bike. And so when you bring them back, it looks a bit wrong. But uh, obviously if you're short, you've got no choice in that. You can't grow your legs. Um, so obviously you can ride them if shorter, but for a taller rider, they are just perfect. Oh, okay. This is, oh, that's interesting. Your bike feels lighter than mine. It's got a much lower center of gravity. Um, which would probably be largely to do with that engine. Um, but again, nice riding position. Um, feet are probably slightly further back than they are on my Harley, um, which is again to do with those big cylinders. Uh, but again, I'm nice and stretched out. It's comfortable riding position, and that is what we love. Um, whereas a lot of sports bikes are so short and upright that we look like some kind of circus act on them um, and they're not very comfortable so they're not designed for taller people in mind whereas these kind of are so that's uh, something that we love about them. Darcy and I have planned some amazing ride outs on our two bikes together in the next uh, few months so keep watching to make sure you don't miss those videos. Uh, I've got a Triumph booked in next week uh, a special edition I won't say which one it is amazing I can't wait to see it and after that we've got the Royal Enfield Scram coming so two really good bikes uh, next week that we're reviewing and as well as that there'll be some ride outs and other videos to watch as well. Now if you want to help support the channel um, please check out our t-shirt store um, which you can see in the carousel below the video there's pictures of them and then if you click on one of those you can also view it on the website and then if you click the logo on the website you can see all of the other designs on there so check them out. Um, also there's a super thanks feature which is just below um, the video title and it's like a little love heart with a dollar in it and you can donate on there which really helps us out or if not um, you can see our buy me a coffee site in the link in the description uh, but best of all which is free please like and subscribe because that helps us out hugely